Hello, I'm Father George Salzman, the Harvard Catholic Center. We're here uh, in front of William James Hall across the street. Uh, Memorial Hall is right there in that direction. And uh, I'd like to talk about William James. Uh, William James was, uh, as many people said, a lovable genius. He was a lovable genius. He was also a polymath. Uh, he worked in science. He worked in, did work. He was an MD. He uh, worked in psychology and uh, also philosophy. He founded pragmatism. And uh, he also worked in religion, the varieties of religious experiences. He taught anatomy at Harvard Medical School, but he never really practiced as an MD. He uh, did, did do a great deal in psychology. In fact, you could say he began psychology in this country. He had the famous line that the first course uh, he ever heard in psychology was the one that he taught. So he was indeed a leader in the area uh, in that. He was fascinating on the will to believe and uh, the varieties of religious experience. And with Charles Sanders' purse, as I mentioned, he founded that distinctly American philosophy of uh, pragmatism and interacted with a great number of writers and scholars uh, of his time. He has marvelous one-liners that are very activating. Act as if what you do is making a difference because it does, or because especially then it will. Uh, similarly, if you're beginning a very difficult task, uh, more than anything else, see that the, uh, what will affect its outcome is if you realize that it is important and take it seriously. Then, then again, opposite that, the art of being wise is the art of knowing what to overlook, knowing what troubles to avoid. Uh, another that action may not bring happiness, but you can achieve happiness without action. Uh, then most profoundly, the, the, the great use of life is to use it for something that will outlast itself. And uh, then be not afraid of life. Believe that life is worth living and your belief will help create the fact. In, uh, when I was a kid, uh, Bishop Fulton Sheen used to be on television, and he actually got the, an Emmy for uh, uh, had the highest rated show on TV. And the title of that was Life is Worth Living, uh, a profound truth and something we need to remind each other of, especially between COVID and the, the, uh, the dark days of uh, winter and so on, uh, to encourage and buck one another up. And then maybe my favorite, wherever you are, it is your friends who make your world. How true that is and how important to constantly grow new friends and hold on to true friends with two hands. Uh, he, um, we're standing in front, I'm standing in front of uh, William James Hall behind me. It's a 15 story building, it's just about as tall as the bell tower at St. Paul's Church, which is as tall as the Statue of Liberty. Back there, people say, Father, that's not as, the Statue of Liberty is taller. And I say, well, I don't want to cast this person to Miss Liberty, but she's standing on phone books. She has a base, so the whole thing is much taller. But the statue itself is about 150 feet, 150 water something. And I, I wonder what this is. When I come off the Bass Pike exit, 18, you can see the two, and I'll let you make your own judgment when you do next time. I want to talk about the building itself uh, because it was actually hauled into court, or at least they tried to haul it into Chelsea Courthouse, I think. And it went this way, that a, a, a faculty member in the Department of Psychology used one of the department's cars and parked it in Chelsea, got a parking ticket, it laid unpaid, and that matured up into a summons. And these things gradually appear on the bulletin board, no one claimed them in the department. And then finally, when it came to the summons, the following thing happened. There was a uh, person secretarily very trying to be helpful who saw that it was a summons for the Department of Psychology, William James Hall, Harvard University, Cambridge Mass to appear in Chelsea Courthouse. And they realized that it must have been a typo. And it must have been a guy named Bill Hall, middle name James, William James Hall. And so they summoned William James Hall uh, to appear in Chelsea Courthouse. The Department of Psych helpfully wrote back saying, you know, Hall hasn't moved around a lot lately. And in fact, Hall is a 15 story building. So get out the tape measure, check the ceiling of your courtroom before you demand that we move it over there, which is a great line. Uh, enough for today. Take care and God bless.